This video will go over how to prepare a specimen that has been stored in ethanol to be imaged. And there are several different techniques that you can do, and it's typically personal preference or the type of specimen you're working with. You can use either sand, and here I have a black sand and a white sand. And typically I use the white sand just because it creates less shadow. And then another technique is to use gel and uh, ethanol. Personally, I prefer the sand technique because it's just a lot easier and quicker to situate the specimen. And if you say working with a type specimen that you really don't want any kind of residue on, you do not want to use the gel technique. A reason to use the gel technique, it can create a nicer, more even background. And, and sometimes with a sand specimen, when you bury it to situate it, it can hide parts of the specimen's body that you may otherwise want in the image. But that can always be remedied by having a different kind of shot. So say you did a dorsal shot and information was hidden, you could switch the specimen around and do a ventral or a lateral shot. Um, really whatever you prefer. So here I have a little isopod that is I've situated in sand. And you want enough sand that you can easily press the specimen down in. And you also want to have the specimen in the correct size petri dish. Uh, this is a decent size petri dish for the size specimen. This might be a little too uh, small and this would be pretty big which would just take more of your time. So um, now that I have the specimen situated in ethanol and you can do this either way. You could either fill up the petri dish with ethanol first and then put the specimen in or do what I've done where I'm putting in ethanol after I've settled the specimen. So you want to fill up the petri dish with enough ethanol so that it completely covers the specimen but not too much ethanol above the specimen where it will in the image it will start to distort the um, specimen. So you can press the specimen in the sand and you want it enough settled in the sand so that it won't move around while you're taking pictures. You want the specimen to be able to remain still, which can be tough when it's in a liquid. So I just want to press it in until I don't see any parts of its body sticking out of the ethanol. So there it looks pretty good. And now you have the specimen ready to image. Since ethanol evaporates so quickly, you may need to touch it up a bit more while imaging. A note, if you do add any ethanol to the petri dish, make sure that if you are doing this near your camera, that the, cam the lens cap is on so that there's no risk of splashing the lens. And another thing I like to do, if I have an extended period of time, you can put a cap on the petri dish which will prevent a lot of evaporation so it just uh, saves you time from having to constantly add more ethanol to keep the specimen completely covered so that's how to image a ethanol specimen in sand and now I'll show how to prepare a specimen for gel so you get the gel um, and a pen and here I have a pin that is slightly hooked and then just uh, kind of work in until you get a small enough glob and then just press it onto the petri dish. And now I'm going to take another little isopod and then just press it in the gel whichever way you want and then fill it up with ethanol and it's the same process as you would with the sand technique. Here I have the base that I put specimens on. It's under the camera and the lift. And a note, and when you are imaging ethanol specimens, you do not want to put your paper directly underneath the petri dish because spilling the ethanol 
is inevitable and you really don't want to get any ethanol on your paper. So here is one where you've got some ethanol spilled and it's stained the paper which really cuts down the amount you can use that paper and it typically 18% gray paper is fairly expensive so you don't want to uh, waste it. If you're using a gel and you want a nice gray background you can put the paper under the base and so you'll have a nice even gray background but you decrease the risk of spilling ethanol. If you are using sand, you really don't need any kind of um, added background because the background will be the sand and you won't even see any paper or other type of background you would use. So that's the basics of preparing ethanol specimens to be imaged.